Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your Exchange Mailbox in Outlook 2019. Now, in order to get started with this video, you'll need to have a domain name registered, a mailbox purchased, and you'll need Outlook 2019 installed on a Windows machine. I'm using Windows 10. This should also work in Windows 11 as well, and the steps will be more or less the same. If you need a guide on how to install Outlook 2019 onto your Windows machine, I have a separate video just for that purpose, and it's linked above. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the Domain Names tab in our control panel. And the reason we're doing that is we want to go to the domain name that we're going to host the emails on, which in this case is going to be fhtechtips.co.uk. I'm going to open the Advanced DNS tab. And the reason for that is I want to check the CNAME record for this domain name. When setting up an Exchange mailbox with fast hosts, you'll want to make sure that you have this CNAME record input. So you want the host name to be autodiscover and you want the points to section to be autodiscover.exchange2019.livemail.co.uk. This record is what Outlook looks at in order to set up your Exchange mailbox. So this needs to be in place. If you are hosting your domain name with Fasthosts and the DNS is here, and you've also got the Exchange mailbox with Fasthosts, this should all be set up automatically, but it's worth double checking. If you have your domain name or DNS hosted elsewhere, you'll need to take this record and you'll need to implement that where your DNS is. If you're using an Exchange mailbox that's not with Fasthosts, then the provider of that service may have a different auto discover record and you'll need to contact them to get that sorted. Once you have that record, you just put it here in the same way. Once you're sure that's in place, now it's time to go to the email tab. And as you can see here, I already have some mailboxes in place and the mailbox I'm going to set up is this exchange at mailbox. Now, if you don't have an exchange mailbox, you can always purchase one by clicking add mailbox or if you already have quotes are available and you want to add a new one, you can buy them here as well. In my case, I'm going to be using the Exchange app mailbox, and that's because it comes with Outlook already, which is what I want. So now what we need to do is open Outlook. And like I said, that's already installed in this case. If you need a guide on how to install that, there will be a linked video in the description for that. So I'm just going to search for Outlook and I'm going to open it. So this is the first time that I've opened Outlook on this machine, which means I'm seeing the screen here to add a new mailbox. If this isn't the first time you've opened Outlook, then you may not see the screen, but don't worry, in a moment, I will show you how to get to this point. So if this is your first time opening Outlook and you're just looking to add the mailbox, all we need to do is simply add the mailbox by name. So exchange at fhtechtips.co.uk. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to click connect and it's going to start the process of setting up this mailbox. So it's going to ask me what account type this is and I'm going to say exchange because this is an exchange mailbox. So now it should be using that auto discover record that we have set up to find the server settings and implement them correctly. Now you will almost certainly get a pop up asking you to confirm the security certificate, which of course you do. So confirm it. Okay, now it's finished that first step. What we need to do is put in the password. So that's now setting up. Okay, so now it's asking me for the password again, and this is as a part of the auto discover process. So it's gonna enter in my password one more time. And there we go, account setup is complete. All I have to do is click okay. And here we are, Outlook has been set up correctly. And it's even saying that it's setting up a local copy of the mailbox. So that means it's basically setting up the mailbox that exists here on the computer. And then what's going to happen is through the exchange process, it's going to send and retrieve information between us and the server. And that's how the mailbox syncs up with whatever we have on the server. So if this was your first time opening Outlook and you followed the process all the way through, then you're done. You now have a mailbox set up on Outlook 2019 on Windows. Now, if you're looking to add a new mailbox to an instance of Outlook that already has been used and already has a mailbox active, then what we'll need to do is we'll need to go into control panel. Now I've got mine set to small icons. And then if you click on mail right here, you can also search for mail here as well. You will see 
a range of options. Now, what we want to do, you would think email accounts would be the one we want. It isn't actually. What we want is profiles. So we're going to go to show profiles. And here, this is a profile that's already active. That's where, if you were following the guide before, if you look through, that's where the mailbox we just implemented now exists. So what we want to do, first of all, we want to select to prompt for a profile to be used. So we want to make sure that every time we open Outlook, it's asking us who we want to log in as. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click Add. And I'm going to call mine Exchange Test. But call yours whatever is relevant to your mailbox. So click OK. And now it's going to ask us for information. Now, this is more or less the same process that we went through for when we first opened a mailbox, except it's not got quite as fancy a look, but prom I promise you it is the same process. So what we need to do now is just add in exchange at FH Tech Tips. Okay. And then your name, that is the name that will show up when you email people. So in my case, I'm going to put Tom. And we just need to enter in a password. And then next. And now what it's going to do is it's going to search for the exchange settings. And again, that's using the auto discover record to set up a new email profile and set up a new email account. So this will follow through. You may get some alerts about accepting exchange connections and that kind of thing. Um, obviously, because this is a process that you're doing, you want to accept those. And there we go. It's created my new profile. It's logged me in. So all I need to do now is click finish. And now you can see we have multiple email profiles. Now, now remember when I selected a prompt for a profile to be used, let's make sure that actually happens. Let's click apply. OK. And then we're going to close Outlook. And now if we open it again, we're now going to be prompt for a profile. So we can either choose one we had in place already, or we can choose exchange test. And then it's going to ask me for the password. You can always, of course, select to remember credentials. Um, whether you do that or not is up to you. If it's a machine that multiple people use, I would definitely recommend to not do that. Um, but if it's your own private machine and you know no one else is going to be on it, then by all means, you can select that. But now it's going to load up the profile and it's going to sign in as normal. And there we go. It's now signed me into the mailbox. It's going to start populating it with all the relevant information. Um, obviously, this mailbox hasn't been used yet, so there's nothing to sync across. Uh, but here we go. It's all set up, ready to go. Perfect. So hopefully that's helped. Hopefully that's a very quick idea of how to get your mailbox set up. If you do run into any issues during this process, such as failing to get those auto-discover records sorted if it fails to connect in that way, typically that means there's an auto-discover issue because that's the only real connection point that you need to manage. If there's an issue there and you can't get it resolved, I would definitely recommend getting in touch with our support team. They can then run through troubleshooting steps to get this sorted for you. But in any case, hopefully you won't have those issues and it should just set up straight away and you can get on with emailing. In any case, I really hope this video has helped and bye for now.